Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 24th of September's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to bid farewell to all the weaknesses with their, which are there within us. Not just weaknesses, we can call them the vices also. That means God has already explained to us that when He had created us, He had created us with a lot of love, wisdom, purity, happiness, joy, contentment and bliss and divine knowledge. But when we started lacking all this, we went into lust, into anger, into greed, into ego, into jealousy and many more things. And that has led to many obstacles in our life. Instead of making friends, we have made enemies actually because of those vices. So God says, may you be a master almighty authority who bids farewell to obstacles by having constant awareness of the self. The confluence age is the age to bid farewell to obstacles. Therefore, do not allow the obstacles to whom you have bidden farewell for half a cycle come again. That means our aim is to completely bid farewell to these obstacles like lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment that is within us, not just others, within us and which doesn't allow us to transcend into the new age, which is the gold and the silver age. So two ages combined together is half the cycle of the whole world drama. That means half and then interval and the next half. So God says constantly remember I am a victorious jewel, a master almighty authority. Let this awareness be constant because obstacles of Maya will not be able to come in front of powerful souls. So when we believe that I am a master almighty authority, it is not difficult for me at all to overcome all these negative traits within me. Then it becomes impossible for Maya which is lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, many more things, negativities, to come and attack us in our thoughts. And then we become a powerful soul. If an obstacle comes and you have to remove it, that is not called being constant and unshakable. That means lustful thoughts came, activity happened, or anger came, activity happened, and we became shakable. And we were not constant into peace, into purity. Therefore, pay attention to the word constant. By constantly staying in remembrance, you will constantly be free from obstacles and the drums of victory will continue to beat. See, life is also a game. In this game, we have obstacles which are lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, which are the ones which actually trouble us. It's not that somebody else has got greed and ego and jealousy and he's troubling us. No. It is getting troubled by somebody else's behavior. Somebody is jealous of us and we get angry with that. Or we become fearful with that. Somebody is greedy and we are fearful. Or we are feeling hatred towards that person because that person is trying to take everything from us. So that hate is coming because of somebody else's jealousy or somebody else's greed. So God says that let them be what they are. But you can actually change your attitude, your behavior, even if they are like that. And find ways to solve it instead of taking revenge, instead of talking against them, instead of blabbering against them instead of thinking or plotting against them. So by constantly staying in remembrance, you will constantly be free from obstacles and the drums of victory will continue to beat. So we spend a lot of time, we waste a lot of time in going against people, going against the flow. So somebody else wants us to be in, in their reality or do we want to be in our own reality? If somebody wants us to get into their reality of greed, then yes, we can adapt to it. When they are greedy, we can become hateful or revengeful and we can adapt to the same methods as they are adapting to it or adopting. So God says that you can be constantly victorious when you learn that these negative traits can come within you and by remembering him, you can get rid of them. How do you do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.